Hello. So people ask me all the time how I stay happy all the time. If you don't know me in real life, like, I'm really happy, like, all of the time. Um, so, actually, my first blog was made because it was the first time that I would really felt angry and I didn't know what to do with the anger, but I was kind of excited that I had anger. So I, like, was thinking angry and that was, like, way too much. So I started talking out loud in the car angry and then I realized I looked crazy because I was just talking to myself. So I filmed it, film, just talk to myself and like talk through my anger and then people saw it and told me to put it on YouTube and I did and people liked it and that's how my blogging started. But I'm actually very happy and thanks to the blogging because now that five minutes of anger has gone. So, okay, this is how I reckon there's like lots of reasons I'm happy. I have my dream job, my life's awesome. My friends are great. My daughter's great. I have a really cool dog. But if you can't be a professional athlete and have the job of your dreams, there's some little tips that I have in my day-to-day -day life that I think could help you be really, really happy. Here's my dog. If you're going to get a dog, like get a dog. Get serious. Get a big dog. So first thing, when I wake up, you'll notice this looks like any ordinary bed. Mm -hmm. Guess what's missing? A sheet. I don't have a sheet. I really feel like so much of your anger and your tension comes from you subliminally fighting your sheet all night and tangling and you wake up and you've already had an argument with your sheet in your sleep. That's not a good start. So boom, this is how I live, no sheet. Secondly, what we've got here on the bedside table. Okay, what I do, I set my alarm for um, half an hour before I'm supposed to wake up. I've got um, pre-workout supplement next to my bed with a shaker with water so I wake up in the morning half an hour before I'm supposed to get up and go to the gym I drink my pre-workout and go back to sleep then at five o'clock in the morning when I would usually not want to get out of bed since I drank pre-workout at 4 30 I can't actually sleep any longer than five because I'm off my face on pre-workout so I like jump out of my sheetless bed and get into the day so that's a good start then the next thing is just pretty much two things probably oh here's my flow chart on the wall just to remind me it's a checklist here make sure i'm not getting any um wrong kind of partners my happy little house here the decor is kind of like arts and crafts rainbow unicorn so this is what we've got here why do i have my christmas tree up in august uh, is it up early have I not taken it down? No, do you know what? The answer is neither. It's not a Christmas tree. It's a festivity tree. I lack space in my house to uh, actually put the tree anywhere. Also, I went to pull the tree down at the end of the year. And it was my daughter. You didn't want to take the tree down, hey? So I just said, cool, let's just leave it up. So we revamped it so it's not really Christmassy. So at the moment, it's it celebrates every kind of festivity. At the moment, it was recently my birthday. I was 31. So you can see here, it's doing happy birthday. Um, it does Easter. Um, it did the Queen's birthday. It's got like a Queen thing. It can do St. Patrick's Day. Any celebration, any festivity you have, you celebrate it right there on that tree. And what that does is once you've woken up, you don't have a fight with your sheet, you've had your pre-workout supplement, and straight away you realise what you're looking forward to in life. So I've just had my birthday, and then it's nearly my daughter's birthday. So walk up, before I even make it to the bathroom, I'm already pumped. I don't know if it's the pre-workout or the fact I'm excited that my daughter's nearly going to have her birthday. It's good. So, and the other great thing is, if you find things lying on the floor and you don't know where to put them, you walk around this... This is a portrait of me my daughter did. It was on the floor earlier today. Picked it up. <sighs> where do you keep it? I don't even know. So I went, you know where I'm going to keep it? I'm going to keep it here. I can probably find random stuff. Oh, look. Look what else is in here. Like just a random... <laughs> No, okay, so there was actually, I didn't think I found anything that good. So at some point I haven't known what to do with this. <laughs> and I put it in the Christmas tree, that's gold, I didn't realise that. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in that tree. Don't know where to put it, chuck it on the tree. And then the next thing is, 
Um, I have this sign here. I used to love um, being like a housewife. I was engaged and then I had a really cool boyfriend and I was like cook and clean. Oh baby, oh, my socks are always so clean and organized and you always wash my clothes. The best girl. Boom, don't have a boyfriend anymore. <laughs> so no one tells me how great I am at doing the washing. Or do they? I tell myself how great I am at doing the washing. Up here you can see the poster I made for myself. It says, what a winner. Seriously, Em, you're all over luck. Mom, the hey, is ready. Okay, hey, keep up the good work. Hang this stuff out in half, okay? P.S. Go do a two-minute plank, 20 push-ups, and 20 squats to say awesome. It's not just about making the poster and sticking up. You have to commit yourself to actually reading the poster every time you hang the washing out, and I do. I do that, and I do do the squats and the push-ups and... All of that. It's, it's, it will revolutionize your life. And then one more quick thing, be quick as I can, is this. Okay, I hate putting the cutlery away. That's a hard job. So this is my house. I make the rules. Don't I? One of the rules is don't be in the kitchen. Out. Out. Trained on myself. So well, this is how I put my cutlery away. Okay, see that? That's my cutlery. You just get the cutlery and you just put it in the drawer, like that. Done. You can use these tips at home. Oh, one quick thing. Also, I really like this fish tank. Oh, can you see? Yep. It's like the feature of my table here. Um, and, but it, I found keeping the fish was too hard and the water would go yuck. So I don't have the fish anymore. I just have the tank. I can do that. It's my house. Don't let society bound you into all these rules. It's your Mom. house. You pay the rent. You do whatever you want. We do what we want, hey? Yeah. Whatever we want. Yeah. You like we make jelly and stuff. Yeah. Mom. So I'm off to have a happy day. I hope you can just do things around your house to make your life the way you want it. I think this might make up for my grammar vlog. Bye.